I'm Terry, and we're going to start the fourth session of the Beginner Basics in just a moment. But I want to take care of a couple of housekeeping items first. And um, I have exciting news that on Facebook, there's now a group that will give you lots of support and encouragement, and you can leave comments and let me know what you really want from the practices, what's working for you, um, what you want more of. Anyway, it's called Yogata Girls, just like the site, and uh, please join. And I guess that's really it. Uh, the other thing I wanted to say is that today I'm going to be teaching you some balancing poses, and they may be a little frustrating. They, they still are to me, and I've been practicing for years. So just um, do your best, laugh whenever it doesn't work out well. That's what I find is the best. You'll see me doing that on, this, on the videos often. And I wanted to tell you that uh, if you haven't done sessions one, two, and three prior to this one, I would recommend it because they build on each other. And um, we're getting into some a little bit more challenging poses today, but no problem, you've got this. So why don't we go ahead and stand up and then come into your downward facing dog. Bend your knees, bend your elbows, start taking some deep breaths. Press into what's connected to the floor, lift up and away from your hands and your feet. Just arrive here, ready to have some fun, ready to let go of your day for a few minutes, and experience something new that's going to leave you feeling absolutely better than you did when you came and rolled out your mat. So the first thing I want you to do is walk your feet up to your hands, <clears throat> maybe about a foot from your hands, and press your hands down into your mat, press into your left foot, and we're just going to lift the right leg up and back, drop your head, and lift your left leg up as you do. Look back at your toes, like we have in the other poses where we lift the leg. Make sure they're pressing straight down so your hip's not turning out to the side. And then just, this is called standing splits. You lift your leg to the degree that you can. Maybe it's parallel to the ground, it doesn't matter. Drop your head, breathe. Press into your hands, press into your left foot. Lift your right leg a little bit higher with an inhale. Drop your head with an exhale. And that's it. Bring your foot back down. Notice how already how you feel just a little bit more alive with the breath flowing through you intentionally. And we'll go to the other side. Hands down. About maybe a foot in front of you. Play with it. Left leg up. Toes pressing down. Flexed. Right knee bent, hands pressing down, right foot pressing down. And as you inhale, lift your left leg. As you exhale, drop your head. As you inhale, lift your left leg. As you exhale, drop your head. I don't care if your left leg is two inches off the mat. That's still your pose. It only matters that you're doing it. It's a practice, not a perfect. And your foot back beside your other foot. Halfway lift. Fold. Rise. Breathe in. Bow. Breathe out. And there's a high plank on your knees. Feet pressing down. Shift your weight forward. Look out in front of you. Bring your elbows into your ribs. Lower to your mat. Breathing out. Inhale, press into your hands, press into your feet. Lift your chest for cobra. And breathing out, back to downward facing dog. Breathe in, breathe out. Step, as many steps as it takes to get to the top of your mat. Take a halfway lift. Fold. And let me get in the video. Rise. Good. So 
So this first pose is called Eagle. And it's, it's challenging, but it's fun, so just stay with me. Press into your left foot and bend your left knee to give yourself a little bit more security. Oh, you can also be, I would recommend it, hold on to a wall. Hold on to a wall. So pressing your left foot down, right leg comes over, I'll turn a little bit here, and you're bending both knees, pressing into your standing foot, maybe holding onto the wall with your left hand. Maybe this is it, maybe this is your eagle today. Shoulders over hips, head over shoulders, and breathing. This can certainly be your eagle. If you want to give it a little bit more and you're willing to laugh, <laughs> bring your left arm under. See? <laughs> left arm under, right arm over. Excuse me. Right arm under. That's why that wasn't happening. Okay, so your right leg's over, your right arm is under. Left arm over and bring your palms together. You're there. This is eagle. Perching in the tree, you're, you're there. That's perfect. Good. Ha! Ah, let's take it to the other side. So, you still got your wall. Press into your right foot. Bring your left leg over. Maybe this is it. This is perfect. Breathe here. In and out while I describe the rest of the pose. Left arm under. Right arm over. Palms together. Press, oh, that's another thing that works really, really well. Let's say you're here. Press that left foot down into the mat. Now you're really secure. Now you can bring your elbows forward, lift your elbows up, drop your shoulders back. You've done eagle. Awesome, see, it's fun. Now, left foot down. Again, you can be by the wall. Left foot down, grab your right knee. Standing leg raise. Maybe play with taking your hand away from the wall and see if this is good for you today. This, is, this can be your standing leg raise. Every single step along the way can be where you are. As you practice, you'll find that you might take the next step tomorrow or in a week. There's still poses that I haven't mastered, so hang with me here. Okay, so left foot down, right leg up. Now, if you want to take another step, take your right leg out to the side. You're still holding onto the wall. Flex your toes, keep your knee the same height as your hip, your right hip. Just feel that hip opener, that could be plenty. Often that's plenty. If you want to take it one more step, you got it, you're open. You, <laughs> you see, I laugh. Take your left arm out to the side, press into your left foot, and then look over your left hand. Standing leg raise, you did it. Other side, left foot down, grab the wall. Press into your right foot for balance. Lift your left leg. One side will be easier than the other. This happens to be my open side. Usually, I'm right-handed, my open side is left. Your non-dominant side might be more open. Not always, but you'll find it to be different. So grab your left knee, take it out to the side. That could be plenty. Let go of the wall, bend your knee, stand here. Often this is what I do, I look straight ahead. If you feel like you can take your right hand out to the side and look out at it and you're willing to wobble, you've done it, standing leg raise. Okay, now we're gonna do standing leg raise again. Take the wall if you need to, take it out to the side and from standing leg raise, you're going to take the arms out like an airplane wings, pressing your palms down and back. And you're going to press into your left foot, kick your right leg back. Kick your right leg back. Press your toes down, lift your heel up, and press both feet. Press your back foot like you're pressing into the back wall. Come down when you fall out of it or now. Now the other thing we could have done is done that pose at the wall. So one hand is on the wall. The other hand is an airplane. That's a really good place to be. Often when I'm teaching classes in person, I'll teach it this way. Because then, when you come into half moon, you can take your hand down the wall, 
press against it, press your body against it, and you can lift that back leg into half moon and you'll be against the wall. And you might stay here for literally months because this feels so safe, it is safe, and it's a really good feeling and it can be really tricky off the wall. That's half moon. So let's do the other side and let's do it at the wall. Airplane. Airplane, grab the wall if you need to. Look out in front of you, keep a long spine, press your left foot back. Like it's pressing just as much as your right foot. Now come over a little closer to the wall. Slide your right arm down and open up into half moon. Right there. I love this pose and I love it more at the wall. <laughs> Good. Two more poses. <sighs> Take a big breath in, reach up. Bring your hands down, breathe out. <sighs> Let that go, whatever happened. The last two, well, last next to the last one is called Dancer. And again, the wall is great here. So I have the wall. I press into my left foot and I reach my right arm around and grab the inside of my right ankle. Now this might be enough for you. You might just take your hand at your chest and stand here and balance. Or you might keep your hand at the wall and stand here and balance. Or you might reach out, holding onto the wall or not, into dancer. There's always an option to make this pose work, to make all the poses work, and to feel the opening in your body, to feel the blood flowing. It's so good for us. Let's do dancer on the other side. I'm going to take the wall, reach around, grab my inside of my left foot, press into my right foot, bend my right knee, look at something soft and steady in front of you, bring your right hand to your heart. Stay here and breathe, or extend your arm out long, or extend your arm to the wall for support. Press into your right foot, breathe in, lift up, and come back. You're doing great. Thanks for sticking with me. There's one more pose I want to teach you today. Remember, this is session four, and you're going to want to go back and do one, two, three, and four as often as you can before I bring out session five, because they just build. You get stronger every day. The only thing you have to be to do yoga is breathing. That's the prerequisite. <laughs> tree. So tree, again, could be the wall. Left foot down. Right leg either pressed into your floor. Hands at heart center. So you really won't need the wall because you can stay here. Open out your right hip. It's a hip opener. And then reach your arms to the sky like a tree. Pull your belly button into the spine. Draw your shoulders down and back. Tree. Now we'll take it to the other side and I'm going to show you another option which is to bring your foot to your inside between your shin and your calf and not ever your knee. The only thing you don't want to do is press into your knee because pressing into your knee will be pressing on a joint. You just don't want to do that. So down here or right here. Reach your branches tall. Last option, third option. Bring your foot to the inside of your right thigh and grow your branches tall. See, I'm gonna fall out of it. <laughs> okay, those are, the, those are the balancing poses. Practice, practice, practice. Thanks for sticking with me. Don't forget to click subscribe. And if you click subscribe and ring the bell, you'll see new videos whenever they pop up. Have a great day.